Hi guys, this is Sean Sebastian Shaw from the Adavis online forum called under Shaw. So today I'm going to show you how to add a new controller uh, that's a mechanism controller to your UMA characters. Uh, if I start the game right now with the normal defaults and enter my username and password here. You can see I just gonna take this character. So he's on a small platform. You should see the advoxel building terrain here. And if I jump, you'll see he's just running. And same goes with running and jump. What I want to do is add like a correct animation for the idle jump and the running jump. What we will do is under the Atavis objects here that you got when you import your package, you have an emitter controller here. I'm gonna use that one as this one has a couple of uh, mechanic already configured formation that will run with your mob controller 3D. So I did a copy of it and I've put it here back in my resources, animators, and this is the same one that you just saw prior to so if you go into your UMA, uh, your resources, and you get onto the UMA humanoid characters, you have your male and female. So I'm going to do the male one. So if you check it out here, and you select the small arrow here and get here, you'll have your animator. Right now it's using the locomotion animator, so it's pretty basic. One I want to do is change it to the other controller I just added. So just make sure you take the one you copied into the versus content animators and double click on it. And really important, and that was pointed out to me by retired and from Tom T from the website on the forum, uh, you have to change it here also. So uh, just select once again the right one. Here we go. Now if we double click on it, you have your jump and this goes from idle to jump state and this goes from run jump back to idle so these are two different animations so uh, I already changed it here but the only thing you need to do is click here and select your animation that you want to do so I have this one for uh, the jump and I have a run jump for the other one so that will let you if I go back into the game, and if everything works correctly, you see I have a jump scene. Wait for the center to generate, and if I run jump, I have another animation. Uh, this animation you can do them by yourself, or what I did for myself went to the asset store and I bought the props animations. What's great about it, it already has like 810 animations and counting and if you want to have something else you can just go on their website and they add it to the queue. I wanted a gathering animation so I went over to the website I told them I purchased the asset, I showed them a video of what I wanted exactly and they have added it to the queue for the next release and that was really quick response. I asked them at 6.43 a.m. They answered back like not even an hour later telling me that it has been added to the queue. So I hope it helps people that are looking how to do that. I was really confused. And once again, I'm Sean Sebastian Schall from the Adavis Forum.